My name is Saeed Azad, and I'm currently a postdoc at Colorado State University. In this presentation, I will briefly discuss our article, which will also be presented in person in the IMEKI 2022 conference. Allow me to start by giving you a very brief overview of the topic and motivation of this study. In this work, we'll focus on uncertain control co-design or UCCD problems. Specifically, control co-design refers to the integrated consideration of physical and control system design. However, because uncertainties are present from multiple aspects in the control co-design problem, then we need to refer to UCCD formulations. There are currently certain limitations in the UCCD literature, including implementation challenges, implicit assumptions, and in-depth discussion of the structure of UCCD problems, as well as meta-dependent considerations. In this work, we fill some of these gaps by using a single, uh, by using a simple strain-actuated solar array system to discuss the optimal open-loop control structure under uncertainties and to implement two specific specialized UCCD formulations. The first one is the uh, stochastic in expectation UCCD for which we use a Monte Carlo simulation and a generalized polynomial chaos for uncertainty propagation purposes. And the second one is the worst case robust UCCD which uses deterministic representation of uncertainties. Here you can see the universal UCCD formulation defined in the probability space, that is without any loss of generality, because a specific forms of this formulation can also be derived. Notice that all of the uncertain elements are described using tilde. In terms of implementation, we notice two open loop uh, optimal control structures. The first one is the open loop single control, that finds a single control command that meets some uh, criteria and is closely related to concepts from robust control theory. That is because this, uh, the resulting optimal control trajectory should perform well under a range of different uh, scenarios. Now, open loop single control is mostly suited for reference tracking applications but it has some limitations. For example, when we are dealing with boundary valued UCCD problems, because open loop single control cannot satisfy terminal conditions in such problems. On the other hand, we have open loop multiple control structure that elicits a range of optimal control responses based on uncertainty realizations. One way to look at open loop optimal control structure is to consider the closed form solution from a general UCCD formulation. And if we do that, we'll notice that the optimal solution would be a function of problem elements such as design variables and parameters. And when, and when they are uncertain, then for every realization of those uncertainties, we will expect to see a different and distinct optimal control response. This illustration shows these two different structures. And notice that for the single, for the open loop single control structure, the terminal condition is relaxed in order to enable a solution. When we are dealing with uh, probabilistic uncertainties, we need an uncertainty propagation method. In this study, we use a generalized polynomial chaos. Now in GPC, we are dealing with an uncertain vector uh, that has elements that are mutually independent and the distribution of these among these elements is used in order to select a, a univariate generalized polynomial chaos basis functions. Then we can perform a tensor product of these univariate GPC basis functions in order to create a multidimensional GPC basis functions that would allow us to estimate any second order variable or response. But in order to do that, we first need to calculate GPC coefficients, which are generally calculated through a Galerkin projection or a collocation formulation. In this work, we use collocation formulation and that requires quadrature rule. Using that, we can find out the statistics of any response that you're interested in. Here in this figure, you can see all of the steps that are 
um, uh, involved in implementing a GPC approach. The case study that we use is a simplified strain actuated solar array. Uh, you can see the deterministic description of the problem on the left. Notice that the terminal condition requires the system to go to rest at final time. We have a, a stiffness of the solar array as our plant variable. We have a strain actuation, which is our control. And we have relative displacement and velocity as our states. And finally, the problem data is the inertia ratio. When we consider uncertainties from three different sources in our system, in this case, without any loss of generality, we assume we have normal distribution, we can uh, formulate the UCCD problem as a stochastic in expectation. Uh, all of the dynamic equality constraints are satisfied almost surely, that is to say with probability of one, and the terminal conditions are applied only when we are using an open loop multiple control structure. This is a risk neutral formulation. On the other hand, we have also the worst case robust UCCD that requires a deterministic representation of uncertainties. This formulation here is shown in epigraph form and that is done by introducing a new variable as the objective function and also introducing a new constraint. Notice that the inner loop problem entails the satisfaction of all of the analysis type constraints. And all of the uncertainties here belong to their associated uncertainty sets that are once again represented deterministically. These are some of the settings that we have chosen for uh, these implementations. Uh, here are some of the results. Uh, I would like to draw your attention to a few points. First of all, uh, the results that we get from, G from GPC only differ from the Monte Carlo simulation results by 0.65%. That is telling us that we are getting a very accurate result, but with extremely uh, less computational time. So the computational time, if we compare with Monte Carlo simulation, has improved by 90%. The trajectories associated with these implementations for stochastic cases are shown on the right side of this figure. And uh, notice that you can see the distribution bands between Monte Carlo simulation and GPC, and they resemble each other with a reasonable accuracy. Also note that the final objective function that we get from uh, either Monte Carlo simulation or GPC is higher than that of the deterministic case. And that is telling us that when we have a risk uh, neutral formulation, some of the uncertainties might act in favor of our objective. For worst case robust UCCD, the results are presented at the left bottom left of this slide. And notice that we have a single control trajectory and notice that the terminal condition are uh, relaxed in order to enable a solution. This solution, however, is uh, very insensitive to the realization of uncertainties. To implement an open loop multiple control worst case robust UCCD, we also in, uh, uh, investigated the usage of polytopic uncertainties. A polytope is a bounded, closed, and convex polyhedron. And we are going to use some results from linear programming in this slide in order to uh, be able to investigate their application, the application of poly polytopic uncertainties in our UCCD problem. So when we have a linear program, the feasible region would be the convex hull of the vertices of the poly polytope. That means that instead of solving the optimization problem, we could uh, basically replace that with function evaluations at the vertices of that polytope. Now in our problem, we have a linear program because we are using a nested formulation and our uncertainties also belong to a polytope. So we can basically substitute our worst case robust formulation with function evaluation at the vertices of, that, those, of the polytope that would result in eight different cases. The results are shown here in this slide. And you can see that there is one case that results in the solution that we are interested in. In conclusion, we introduced um, open loop optimal control structures and we demonstrate the utility of generalized polynomial chaos and some of the worst case robust formulations. There are also multiple directions for future work. These are some of the references that are used in this presentation and uh, thank you so much for your attention.